In this video, I will provide an overview of the Hyper-V functionality with the Networker module for Microsoft application and also demonstrate granule level recovery. I'm going to start by giving a few key features of the Hyper-V solution within the Networker module for Microsoft applications version 2.4. First of all, NMM 2.4 will utilize the Hyper-V VSS writer to back up and recover both the Hyper-V initial store configuration file as well as each of the virtual machines. The NMM user interface and the Networker file system, also known as NWFS installation, can occur on a Windows Server 2008 R2 or greater. This includes the Hyper-V guest, the Hyper-V server, or a standalone system. I'm going to start by giving a few key features of the Hyper-V solution within the Networker module for Microsoft Applications version 2.4. First of all, NMM 2.4 will utilize the Hyper-V VSS writer to back up and recover both the Hyper-V initial store configuration file as well as each of the virtual machines. The NMM user interface and the Networker file system, also known as NWFS installation, can occur on a Windows Server 2008 R2 or greater. This includes the Hyper-V guest, the Hyper-V server, or a standalone system. Before I start the demo, I will open the Hyper-V manager and review the Hyper-V servers that have been configured. We will be focusing on the Exchange 2010 server as well as the SharePoint 2010 server. I will now close the Hyper-V manager and launch the NMM application. I will now show a virtual machine recovery. From the left pane, we will select Recovery, Hyper-V Recovery Session, then Image Recovery. You will notice that granular level recovery is not shown because it has not yet been installed on this server. I will select the Exchange 2010 server for the recovery and from the Hyper-V Recovery Session bar, click Advanced Recovery. The Hyper-V Restore Wizard will be launched and the Destination Host page appears. Your options are now to override an existing virtual system using the original location, you can recover to a different path on the same Hyper-V server, or you can recover to an alternate Hyper-V server. Prior to the demo, we had already performed a recovery, so I will now cancel out. I will now launch the NMM application with granular level recovery installed and demonstrate the GRL functionality. From the left pane, we select Recovery, Hyper-V Recovery Session, then Granular Level Recovery. The current server selected is the proxy server, so I will select an alternate server. The best practice is not to use the proxy server for the recovery. NMM will gather the information on the server that I selected previously. I will now mount the SharePoint Server 2010 virtual machine. GLR will use the network file system to mount the virtual machine that contains the items or item that I want to recover. Once the virtual machine is loaded, I can navigate through the virtual hard disk to restore the items that I want to recover. I will go into hard disk 0 and then into partition 1. NMM will load the partition and the results will be shown in the right hand pane. In the left pane, I will select program files. In the right pane, I will select the Microsoft Office servers and then navigate into the 14.0 folder. I have demonstrated the ability to access content from the Networker module for Microsoft application. Now the SharePoint 2010 virtual machine is mounted via the Networker file system. So I will now show that with the right permissions, we can access content using the Microsoft Explorer via the mount point selected during the NMM install. Just like within the NMM application, I have navigated into the SharePoint 2010 server, into the hard disk, and then into the partition one. Now again, given the correct permissions, I have the ability to access content directly from the network or file system. In summary, I have demonstrated the ability for the NMM to perform image level recoveries using granule level recovery to mount the virtual machine with the network or file system and access content from both NMM and the Windows Explorer via the network or file system mount point.